All right, so basically, uh, team one or the green side is the person that gets to pick the first faction, and team team two is the B. So it's team A, team one's A and gets to pick first, and team two is B gets whatever's left over. The advantage. You're Sloppy seconds. First. Yeah, honestly. And Falana wins the coin flip. So Falana, you get to be team A and pick the first and pick the first faction. Or be, or no, you to be the opposite? Like Well no no, here here's the thing is Falana could say no, I'd rather be team B and get the last pick. You could do that as well. I'm picking your faction oh, yeah, first. Team a actually, first pick. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes like perfect sense. That, that makes perfect sense. Okay, I'll that just is. stay. Hey, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rock the Astra. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for that. All right, you're picking that. first. Okay, so you're Team A, and then Mike, you get to pick, and you'll be Team B. Wait, what faction did he pick? Uh, Astra. Astra. Lana's going Astra. Mike, for the love of God, don't. <laughs> don't what? Don't go Necrons. Okay, I'll go Space Marine then. Oh my god. You're telling I'm Mike okay not to this. go Necrons. Mike can only play Necrons. Mike, yeah, well, play what you want. Astra is actually know. okay against Necrons. <laughs> if, you, if you want to uh, play more, I hope okay. Necrons. Nah, it's too late. Like, I'm gonna go Mike, the get your now. butt in here, buddy. I'm gonna take up the two to finish it. So. <laughs> We're gonna stream Death Cry. Uh, the players get to each stream their game, so you can oh. go back and each forth player, into their. I guess gonna be in the in their own drop pod with their coaches. Their coaches streaming in that drop pod for their coach to watch. Yes. All right. Just remember, guys. The rules is the coach can talk with you up until turn seven. You can ask for a re. If you don't like your, but you can wait till turn seven to ask for the re. So um, you only get one re though, yeah. and um, that is sort of it. And then um, you have one battle pause, which can be initiated any time the game, and that allows your coach to reactivate the communication with you and, and give you advice. Which uh, by then I'll again probably go to bed. So Mike, if you need me, I can call me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the other question is, well, if, say, Falana asks for battle pause, does that give Mike's coach a chance to interact with his um, his player? Yes. So if, if any player calls for a battle pause, that both coaches can talk to their players. Ah, oh, that's how it works. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can there just be one guy that gets to do anything? No. Both coaches can. Okay. It's kind of like in a basketball game right like when a team calls for a timeout well each oh. coach can talk to their players right but, but, the okay, let me get this straight. the team that initiated and used their timeout or battle pause gets to what gets to say the bottom pause is over at any time i guess the, the, like, yeah the and then, how then long the, it is right you control how long that turn is going to be oh, okay. and then after gotcha. that turns over then the coaches have to mute themselves gosh Oh boy. Uh, so, let's see so the next step would be for okay. Mike and Falana to go to their own drop pods and then initiate your stream on Discord so your coach can watch, uh, see it. Sounds good. All right, let's pop into uh, number seven, Etrusco. Okay, number two. Yep. And then for people um, that want to see my live commentary and the whole game for Vision, uh, come watch in my drop pod. Uh, looks is like this there's the drop pod. What? Yeah. Is this the drop pod? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, they moved. I was in the game, so yeah. All right. There we go. All right, so put your money. Who's got their money on Mike? Who's got their money on Flana? Flana, Mike can't play Space Marines. 
Okay. Those Space Marines are pretty easy to teach, though. I don't know. All right, we're starting up. This is uh, round two of the training wheels. We've got two players eagerly competing with each other here. They both are battle-hardened, low-level skill players. If that's oxymoron, I don't know what it is. Uh, starting areas looks pretty good for Mike. He does have this nice rock area for wreck. That's a clean 40%. Um, not much wildlife getting in his way either. So Mike's going to have a good time. Uh, there's a minute 26 here. We've got Falana assessing the situation. He does have a good 40% volcanic rock here with influence. That means he could probably get a nice tank commander kitted out fairly early in the game. If he wants to go uh, the vehicle build with Astra. He does have Arctic in the top. He has a minute left. Um, Mike dropping on desert. So not not on rocks and with two cult assists there. But he does have his marine on standby. I assume Mike probably is going to go the land speeder. Timing push perhaps. Putting his first tower on wreck. Star is his coach. Trisco is... Alanis coach. Now we're seeing Arctic Pasture. That's one I've never seen before, but that's that's oh we're seeing a book first. Okay, interesting. A book first with Grox. Maybe he's going. I seen Falana do um a psyker rush before. Uh we might see it here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh the Fable Psycho Rush from Falana. Maybe that's what we're going to see. Uh, book first from Mike. And usually when you see Desert, it's probably going to be Land Spears. Looks like Falana's going for the Science. Usually want to get those Nice and early. Oh, cock blocked by a stingwing. That's unfortunate. So he's going to have to probably wait a turn there. Um, Mike, why aren't you getting your... Okay, there you go, Mike. Get the science. There you go, boy. All right, he's clearing up these cultuses. Very nice. Turn three. The coaches have up to turn seven to kind of give them advice on maybe the matchup or late builds. Kind of a wild card here. We know Mike has always been a Necron player at heart. Um, his coach wanted him not to choose Necron because Astra was picked first. And um, again, a Necron against Astra is a fairly hard matchup. So can Mike pull off Space Marine? Although it looks like he's doing the cookie cutter land speeder build. So we had a couple bets here. We had Felgon saying his money's on Alana. Do we have any betters on Mike? I'll bet on Mike. I think he's got it. Okay, we got Shrike betting on Mike. All right. So Flanna's uh, got to deal with two Stingwings here, but he's got all his guards in this spot, so he should be okay. And one of the Stingwings is badly damaged. Oh, he went with grenades early. Nice. Okay, so th this will be no problem for him. I'm pretty, like, if... Oh, getting the... Ar okay. That is... He's getting an acquisition on the Arctic here. So it's a double book? I changed my bet. Okay, a double book on a tiny map. I mean, that is the most ballsy you could do. Double I mean, book. Space Marine. Especially getting Space Marine. I mean, Space Marine is notorious for pushing people um, fairly yeah. early in the game. At least a lot of Space Marine players, especially on a tiny map, because you got the towers, you got a very strong early armory unit such as the Predator, Whirlwind, Razorbacks. Pressure to expand. 
yeah um there is a lot of wildlife in the middle but not like heavy wildlife not no robots no ombras just a lot of garbage uh sting wings pox walkers um but let's see let, it, will this garbage wildlife slow uh mike down um i mean it's got to be another book i don't see the logic i mean because you can't go armory right. unless he's going cultist okay maybe he's no yeah. no he's gonna probably go cultist the next yeah yeah but when you go, go low to mike he has a damage artifact like four thousand away from his capital to the south ah Five. there we go yes that's gonna be big that's actually ideal for space marine if if they're going for aggression um I mean, Falana's build could pay off. I mean, it's just, it's one of those builds where if, if Mike is not past, like, I feel like if Mike does the cookie cutter timing push for, for melted weapon land speeders, it's game over for Falana. Like, cause you can get that up and running by turn 35. And if Falana, oh, he's help. doing or next. Interesting. But why wouldn't you not get um this gives you 10 percent or but i guess i mean if you want the 20 percent for your cultist mechanicus i guess that makes sense but so we should see an armory here uh turn six they have one more turn with their coaches to tell them exactly maybe what what they should be doing at this point and then it's all up to the player to figure things out they do get one battle pause. When a battle pause is declared, both coaches can re-communicate with their players. How are they going to use their battle pauses? Maybe we'll see a battle pause used in a heat of battle. Maybe we'll see a battle pause when they don't know what to do in the game. Time will tell. But as um, far as special outpost acquisitions, I think it's kind of tied. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four. No, no. Space Marines winning that, which they should, because the towers are acting as like a free anchor unit. Uh, yeah, I'm actually very interested to see Flana's build here. I, I'm getting. What's that, Blue? Sort of like. What race do you think is favored generally in this matchup? Astroverse, Space Marine. Um, yeah. Well. Yeah. Looks like Mike has a chance. Yay. <laughs> yeah. One thing, sorry, you, you can't watch my stream, though. You could I'm watch. Not watching your stream. Yeah, you could watch Mike. Uh, sorry, you could watch um, Mike's nice stream. stream. That's fine, but because I, I, I I'm, you're I'm, just I'm, here just to listen to the stuff. Uh, yeah, just last words and that out. Okay, so let me ask. Let me interview you before you go. What I know, we did the other game that you coached Mike, and it turned out fairly well. This game, yeah. did you give him any like wisdom oh, or? Yeah. I, I told him exactly what he needs to do. <laughs> okay, and what 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 was that? Uh, wait. Who's the other guy's coach, by the way? Trisco. I mean, I don't. I rather he doesn't hear. My oh, plan. Trisco's in here too. Okay. Pauses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it worked last game. It seemed seemed to work pretty good last game. Um, I mean, I mean, if, if a Trisco uh, leaves for like a minute, I could tell you. All right, part. Trisco, leave for one minute and then come back because he's gonna tell me what he told his player what to do. I'm sure. All right, all right. Okay, spill essentially, the beans. it's the Space Marine spam, uh, early game spam, which means he's essentially just gonna bake one book and then just spam only fucking um, land speeders, vehicle building productions. Okay. No, 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 no land speeders. Oh, okay. What he, essentially, we're planning on early game push, so he needs to make at least one Razorback, one Scout bike, two Whirlwinds, then Predators, depending on what the enemy has. Mm -hmm. He should see the enemy by turn 30 at least. The Razorback will have two Space Marines, which he needs to have melt bombs for them. 
and he's going to use essentially he's going to put every tower on essentially requisition so he could that's, that's how the uh the spamming of the fucking built vehicle production should you know sustain itself so if he if the enemy went vehicles honestly he has an early game advantage which is why i said don't let him get to leave in russes <laughs> right okay so against you... hydras he wins chimeras he wins not an issue Against infantry, it's a bit tougher. I told him maybe you want to go the scout bike right and a few more whirlwinds. Eventually, he'll get the win there, and you can also get the fucking cluster mine, whatever, if he wants to do like a area that you know to fuck them because they step on that. It's, it's yeah, fun. yeah. All right, so good advice there. Well, um... he's, he's got the tools to work with there, and I mean, I didn't tell him this this second, so fuck, but. I told this him before, so I hope he remembers this. Yeah, that in I, the pre-game talk. He should, he should have his um, fortress ready. Like, when he attacks the enemy. Right, he use it as a... Force. Yeah, yeah. Fortress, yeah. And I assume so you want him to get the shielding that. tech as well, then, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I told okay. him that's, like, the first thing he gets on that tree. All right. He's got the Hammer of Wrath so he can get the um, Dreadnought. I told him everything up to, like, the Dreadnought and the shielding and the Vindicator. Because if you told you if he goes infantry like later on, you win because Vindicator just fucks them. Oh yeah, it does a lot of uh, blast damage. So basically, if he goes vehicles early game, he w he can win that pretty decently. Otherwise, infantry later, he also wins that. So he should be fine. Yeah, I think, um, and I think these two are fairly even matched far as skill. I think, um, I mean they all they have some weaknesses here and there both of them but like should be an interesting game um, um and, and obviously i definitely put an emphasis the keep your two space marines together before you attack oh yeah very and good. keep them alive that i think that's a very good idea yeah uh, that was horrible last time i'll ask you yes. okay but yeah that's about it all right well thanks for filling us in and i guess you'll and, go get uh, some sleep and and then yeah, wake up and see if you're yeah. Your victorious champion is victorious. Maybe it's like last time. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. We win. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, good night. Alright, good night. And Trisco, you just joined? Oh, you sure? Yeah. Alright, so let me interview for a second. Um, I know you've been working with Falana, giving him a lot of good advice. Um, were you guys sort of... Because I, um, I haven't seen a... Falana play Astra too much, but was this like the secret weapon in the bag, like that you've kind of worked out something with him, or was this like Falana just going, "I, I want to play Astra." Uh, he felt more comfortable with Astra, and Astra does have. Uh, if you're good with them, it you're pretty much good with any faction. So all the good things you can learn from other factions, you can apply to Astra and the other way around. They don't have any crazy mechanics. So it's just a, a solid faction as long as you manage to survive early on. Great, and I assume um, I noticed Flana did his a book. Obviously, he wants to emphasize a high research game. This game, uh, yeah. do you, did you have kind of an, a plan for him to kind of face off against Space Marine or or, or what to watch out for? I just pretty much survive a rush, and then you, you win pretty much against Space Marines. So basically, kind of enforce die. like be very defensive. Um, yeah. Don't don't try to take risk and play to your advantage. Where if the game goes longer, um, yeah. the cards are in your favor, type of thing. Okay. Well, it'll be interesting. We're seeing um, some high tech here. Um, so. The stream or how does it? Um, so you can watch. Uh, so you could go into your player's draw pod and watch a stream. You just you can't really communicate with him, and um, uh, when there's a battle pause from either side, you then can initiate like you know talk and all that. But my stream you're not supposed to watch because I have vision of everything. Okay. But this is um, I think it's gonna be a. A very interesting game uh and i interviewing star uh he had a pretty thorough game plan uh that he he kind of told with his player what exactly what he wants to do so and then you also had a pretty 
um, pretty straightforward game plan with Falana. So be interesting how these two plans collide with each other and so see how that plays out. yeah so we're in turn 15 both sides are amping amping up here trying to gain map control deal with the wildlife while doing their respectable builds here I want to see the the Falana stream because I'm, I'm kind of blind and just gonna mute myself. Gonna yeah, yeah. So you're that's that's hundred percent allowed. So you can um, go over there, just mute yourself, and yeah, Falana knows the rules, so he knows what's going on. All right. I was expected uh, assault marine rush from. Oh, so that's Mike huge. Um, Mike lost oh. a marine and it, it, it formed a baby hornet. So um, it's a good thing Star went to bed because I don't think Star would have been happy with that play at all. Um, so that's a big loss there. I mean, you only get two space marines at start, so you usually don't want to lose one. But this is the training wheels tournament, so that is kind of a common thing that we're seeing in these games. Um, but a, a lot of good wisdom here from both coaches uh, this is very greed in my opinion. Um, we're seeing like an early tech greed into a hero building. So there's not, not even a barracks or armory. Um, so virtually skeleton crew army from Falana. Um, and if I guess Star's words was, Mike, I want you to rush Falana. Um, this is the golden opportunity game for that to happen. I mean... Um, All of execution. Yeah. So, I mean, if Mike can actually do what his coach told him to do, it's to me, it seems like an automatic win. I mean, especially if he gets the Predators out, that can siege the base quite easily. There's not much wildlife. I mean, yes, there's a little bit here, but there's just a kind of a bastion here. Um, is he going to research the Predator tanks? Uh, I think, I, I assume he will, based on Star's discussion. All right, we're seeing a um, so a more than earlier engineer. Well, actually, not as early because he built the ore extractor after the book, so it's actually kind of similar timing to the normal Astra timing windows. Arctic science with book, you can do the um, cultist mechanics right after, like acquire the science and then. Um, Cultist Mechanist, the timing, it's like you can get the earliest engineer. Uh, okay, he does realize he has to go. Okay, I guess he's going here. Yeah. Yeah, he's going for a vehicle build. Wait, no, Commissar. What? I, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a. He's going mixed. Oh, no. No, this is. Know. No, Falcon, this is, this is not mixed. This is. Uh, a well, freight. They, they, you have no barracks or armory at this point. This is not anything. Yeah, it's a it's hero. Capital, it's a greed into hero bill, which um, I've never, capital, I've never right. seen. But it, it might work. Who knows? I mean, who knows? His capital is on Grox, and his second city is going to be Or. So, I mean, if you look, think... um, because he didn't build a barracks or armory, he has a lot of ore in the bank. Um, plus sixteen is not a lot per turn. Yeah, okay, that boosted up more. 30. Um, yeah, so his ores in, in okay, his ore economy is fine at this time, but like I said, there's no production, there's no armory yeah. right now. Um, the commas are going out. Okay, now we're seeing a barracks. Okay, I'm very confused now because he does ore. How much? 20%. I mean, that's. So where's, I guess his third base is going to be a food base, but he's on seven energy. So that's something you have to worry about. Like, cause your economy could get crashed here. You, so now your third base has to be a power base because, uh, unless you want to hard build powers and non-power percentage. All right. Other hand, Mike is doing much 
better. Wow, look so look at the power of this, guys. Pretty good requisition in the bank. Plus 34, not bad. He's got three armories and a book. Science waves, you got 22 per turn compared to okay, so yeah, I mean Flana is winning the science row, but no production. So no military production except for a hero building, which is a support. Then compared to three armories. Um, and you can keep pumping at this moment. So, I mean, if he follows the game plan, like right now he's farming, he's farming. Um, if I was his coach, I I would probably say, look, if we're going to do the aggression, let's check your opponent. Like, beeline to his area. Don't go play Dora the Explorer and farm up. You're wasting turns here. If you see Demos or some of the very aggressive players in the game, they don't go Dora the Explorer in the corners. They go, they beeline through to their opponent. Uh, they do that two reasons. They want to check the opponent if they're greeting. If they're not, then they back off and play Dora the Explorer. But like right now, Mike's playing Dora the Explorer. But let's, okay, so we're seeing another barrack skin built here. Um, the problem yeah, I see is this energy, guys. Those yeah. barracks are too upkeep for um, power, right? So he's going to be in the negative pretty soon. So that's something to consider. So, um, I mean, he has this power relay pipe up here. But I think if the game goes long, I think there's going to be a food issue for him. We'll see. All right, so we got the two whirlwinds on Mike's side. He's continuing to build his scout bikes. He does have the predator tech unlocked now. And um, I assume we're going to see some preds being issued out. So the whirlwinds will pay off this game. Uh, I mean, if he is going to start pumping out scions and stuff like that, they'll do some work for him. Uh, early Commissar comes out. Will he, he, It looks like he's headed to the Trader. How much influence does he have? Uh, the only thing is that Third City is going to take 60 influence away from him. So he's not going to be able to get an Icon that quickly. He's going to have to wait on it. So yes, he can sell his uh, Entropic Lucum for 15 influence. But it might continue to play Door of the Explorer. I guess, I mean, I don't know. Does Mike have... Okay, so Mike has vision of this damage relic. Okay, so maybe I take it back. I Playing Door of the Explorer for that damage relic, I think, is not, not a bad idea. It shouldn't take him that long to clear, but it's always a risk because you never know how much wildlife is going to be in this area, right? Um, and it might take you 10 turns to secure it, but that's 10 turns you could have been maybe closer to simming off and putting pressure on your opponent. Did he not see the artifact below the city? I guess he didn't. Um, no, he should see it. Yeah, well, he doesn't know what... He sees the shadow of it. He, yeah, but still. He doesn't, but he doesn't know what type it is. All right. Wow. So he no, built his is... third city and still no power building. Like he, he has, he's living dangerously on this energy, folks. That's going to be a problem for him. I guarantee it. So he's going to be careful. So this is... I've never seen a build like this. Barracks, barracks, barracks. Like, because here's my thing. If he's doing edicts, how is that going to work? Like, are you going to edict this base, edict this base, edict this base? Like, it doesn't, your influence isn't going to be, um, you know, min-max the best, right? Because usually you want that mentality of putting all your armories or all your barracks is sort of in one area. Usually. But uh, he's kind of spread them all apart. Um, okay, so first Barracks comes down. He does have field ordinance batteries. Mm. 
I think that should be a back tech if you identify, oh, it's an infantry build. I, I think it's kind of like, because in this matchup, say if he even builds one, yes, it'll help you clear wildlife a little bit, but that's it. I mean, against vehicles, field ordnance battery is not going to do anything. So this is interesting. Mike did door the explorer up here, but then he gave up. He's like, nah, I'm not going to scare this relic. All right, so he's flip-flopping like a politician here. And we, we've we got... They're about to make contacts. Yeah, we're, they're about to make contacts, yeah. Uh, you've got the bastion that separates them. The 36 par parallel. The um, map control. Uh, Mike has a little bit more than Astro looks like. We got. He has not sold the um, item here for the. Is. All right, making guardsmen. Even though he's got scions unlocked, I. I don't get that move, but okay. Because signs are definitely a, an upgrade compared to guardsmen. I was about to go negative next turn as well. Yeah, his power will be negative. And and building like I don't think he sees it. Like he's building another barracks, which is another two power upkeep. I mean, unless unless he's like, I'm just gonna get this and that will solve my power problems, I guess. So Mike is giving up the the map, put away the backpack, and Mike is on his way towards Falana. Um, got some Preds coming out. That's that's probably a good choice. Guardsmen will grab the power. I don't know, like I, I I'm back seeding here, but like I always feel like if you get an early hero out, it's not worth it unless you, you throw an icon or um a scroll or something. Like I feel I just feel so weird if if you go because you gotta think about it, this hero is costing him four influence to upkeep food. And it's like the other okay the only other benefit is like okay yeah if you're killing wildlife you level up your commissar a little bit which does help in a fight but i still feel like it's a drag on your economy because unless you icon him or put a scroll you're not benefiting a whole lot in the early game with an early hero in my opinion um mike continues but you just look at the army difference right like yes he's got the one don't want to call it early, but the game looks right now over. Yeah. There's very little to defend. It, well, you, it depends. The better, thing is, if if Mike gets to... cold feet and he's very passive, doesn't want to, like, attack Flana, then it gives Flana opportunity to slowly produce his army, but... I feel it's if you want a turtle, you have um, to make sure you have enough energy to make tech priests, and he's not even making those. Yeah, that's well, that's another thing. He's not gonna have healers. Um, well, that one actually, that one tech priest was the last one, really. Um, his entire army is in the, the only thing, though. There. Mike needs to use that tactical that's in his transport that's full health to kill these wildlife quicker. So a lot riding here. This is 
elimination format, meaning it's only one game. So some pressure here. I'm sure the butterflies are fluttering in both players' stomachs. This one would advance them into the semi round. And then from there, we go into the finals, which is a grand prize for the players, a Steam gift card. And just in time for the Space Marine 2 game that's coming out. All right, we're seeing a heavy team being produced. Going to be a late heavy team coming out. The thing I I'm trying to figure out though is book first but into a infantry build. I'm 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 not sure how the book helps an infantry build. I mean I mean, I don't know. And then he settles on ore and on volcanic as is the expansions the thing is here's what i predict um because there's no farm in infrastructure yet what yeah once he gets um like four barracks is online uh he his food is his economy to maintain the production is going to be gone so he'll get maybe like another few more scions or that and then that's it he's not going to be producing any more infantry well he actually he's got a few queued up but like what i'm trying to say okay so that's where a lot of his banked food is into the queue i didn't see that but but there will be a time after these what's he got nine okay so he's got nine queued but after that, I mean, they're nine upkeep. Yeah, he's going to be in negative uh, food, like for sure. So if there's a battle of attrition, uh, you can see Paz of Wreck. And you, you, we know who's going to win the attrition fight. Space Marine. So that's one thing to consider. All right, are we going to see the edicts being applied? There's no um, edict research. He's got two barracks in the main. You have two barracks in this base. Like, I'm very... Oh, and then minus five energy. He's he's in trouble. Uh, still no power building build. So, I mean, he's going into the negative... Um, percentage for his empire pretty soon like in three turns unless he starts disabling buildings but what buildings are you going to disable you already disabled the cult of mechanis disabled only the, one energy right disabled the hero building uh you disabled your ore building so now he's building a power um so but you're yeah that's stressful to watch. Uh, Mike is still cruising in with the um, wreck here. Um, so Mike's going for this Bastion. He's ranging it with range two with a tank that can range three. Okay, that's a that's a new one for me. <laughs> Still no level on the Kamazar. It's it's been it's been out for the last like ten turns. All right, we're still ra ranging to the Bastion here. Okay. Are we gonna play Door of the Explorer up here? Secure the relic. Don't know. Well, the Star Rush sounded good on paper. It didn't translate fully 
Um, because now we're getting into turn 31. Maybe when they sim off, it'll be like turn 38, turn 40. And that's definitely a later, later quote unquote rush. If, if you're quantifying a turn 40 war turn, that's definitely not a rush turn, a rush. So maybe uh, Star needs to work a little bit more on how to do a rush. Um, beeline more to where your opponent's spawn is, where you believe. Don't play Dora the Explorer. Uh, be more... Use your don't troops. Kill bastions you don't have to kill. Like, just ignore it. Yeah. And, ra and range to it. <laughs> take some damage that you didn't need to take damage. Um, to, be fair to, Mike, to be fair to Mike, though, he doesn't really know where he spawned, right? I mean, here's, the, gonna, here's the thing. He's just assuming it's over there. It could be top right, top left, I mean. Well, no. you know. in Gladius, usually the algorithm is, like, if you spawned it, say you spawned it in the middle, middle right, right? There's a high chance that your opponent might be middle left. But in, in, in that case, though, uh, he's not quite, he's, he's bottom left, but, but usually, you know, there's little telltale signs you can see, like sometimes the sound effects or wildlife moving sporadically um, in a place of the map. Uh, then you know, like, oh, he's clearing stuff or he's trying to take stuff. But this is and where also, scouting comes into play, you know? Mike spawned top right. He didn't spawn middle right. He just dropped oh, middle right. Oh, right. Okay. So they did spawn in their mirror corresponding positions, yeah. which usually is what happens. Yeah, that's usually the case. And he should have seen the lasers and the Vespids getting damaged. He should know that the guard is there. Yeah, he actually has vision of the traitor. Yeah, okay. Or he had, he has fog of, fog of war vision. Um, but still, like, he still has a big army. But he needs... Um, are we gonna see the Vindicators being? All of his units are damaged quite a bit, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, oh playing, just, uh... playing Dora the Explorer with Enslaver with the Scout Bike. He did manage to get the damage rolling. <laughs> okay, dropping out of tower, another wreck. So Mike uh, is going kind of for a more low, lower research game here. Dropping all towers on wreck. That is translating into uh, quite a big production surplus. Uh, you can get a fourth armory now with little to no refractories. Uh, how is Falana doing? Oh, we're now minus six power. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, so this six energy won't be exactly six because you're minus 13 loyalty. So he's still going to have to struggle. He is building other power. But again, I feel like usually you don't want to be scrumbling uh, to build power plants everywhere. Uh, I think I think that's when you know things are going bad with your economy when you are when you have to do that at the last second. OK, we are seeing the science now. Finally, uh, we see one one of them. Heavy team coming in to kind of mix it up. Cool, but sort of wasn't in range for that kill. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's another little nitpick here. Definitely got to use the killing of the wildlife to your advantage. So you want your hero to be within three radii of that unit. So you get experience. So we do have the shielding on the towers. Oh, he's shooting. Well, it, okay, I thought he was shooting the other thing. But Man, his scout bike just turned into another wasp. It's crazy. It sucks. Oh, up there, yeah. 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 So I mean, we saw game one where Mike was losing um, Necron Warriors. Uh, this is his second debut game two. Uh, this time it's Space Marine and Scout bikes. 
So we lose both our aggro, so they're gonna come down on him. Okay. All right. So we have. He has vision of a base. Turn thirty-four. Are we gonna see a sim turn called? Is Mike going to pull up pull the aggression card at this point of the game? We finally get a level two commissar. He does get the icon. Okay. So that's never late, but better. And are we out of the power crisis? Um, we're at zero energy, folks. So that's with a, a disabled barracks. I will disable the labor core, probably. Yeah. He does have the Bulgrins. He got he has crack grenades for his troops. Doing bring it down in accuracy on the commissar. Oh, why is the predator down there? No. Predator down there. No oh, so much for the rush plan. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the rush plan is definitely... I mean, the thing is... Uh, he, yeah. It's not really a rush well, anymore. I'm gonna give, yeah. Well, I got a little, can actually fight now. What he's got. Yeah, he could... I mean, the more signs that can come out... You gotta remember, though... Um, eventually, like I said, he's gonna be in the negative food, right? And once his bank of food is... Um, diminished uh that's it that's all you got in your gas tank right and then sm continues to have good you know good bank good wreck per turn a lot of dreadnoughts queued up he's gonna have the fourth i just think he's just gonna smother him eventually with just too many units yeah be a long game I mean, Dreadnoughts are not very effective versus infantry. I mean, they can do they some kill. damage, but they're, they yeah, yeah. ideally don't want to be trading Dreadnoughts with infantry. I think they kill two models max, maybe three, but usually two. So. We can see once one comes out. Uh, I think it's two models. Two models. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's so it's going <laughs> to... Oh, he's making another dreadnought. Now, he needs. Yeah, he killed up like five of them. Um, this is where your scout bike could have been very clutch, or even orbital scan, or you know, figure out what your opponent's going for. You have the tools to easily identify that. Uh, no sim term called for both players. One, two, three, four pressure on the three whirlwinds four whirlwinds okay well he does have a lot of whirlwinds now i will say though i the whirlwinds is the strong counter pick here um i mean i will i will say though whirlwinds if he has enough of them will sh he'll sh completely shut down the the scions i'm a very big fan of bikes or dealing with infantry. All right, so he um, he sees the guardsman and the traitor. You can see Metapack, see Crack, see Fra uh, Frag. That should tell Mike. Yeah, I'm against the infantry build. Whirlwinds don't Overwatch, correct? No, but what they can do is they can take away the Overwatch and pin uh, the enemy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I don't know if he just blind, like I think he blindly built the four war wins. So I think um, he lucked out there because if if it was a uh, if it was a, a vehicle build from Astra, those whirlwinds would have gotten no value. But uh, yeah, I think he liked how good they were for a creeping. So he <laughs> that's probably what it was. 
All right, so turn 36. Flana, take it all. Oh, Flana declares Sim off. Sim off. Uh -oh. There's going to be War 38. And Team A is Flana, so Flana will get the first initiative strike if he chooses. Will Mike back off a little bit because of that? We'll see. Or does he want to absorb the blow and just counterattack? Um, he doesn't have a great Overwatch army because the Whirlwinds don't Overwatch. So it would make more sense for him to maybe pull back slightly since he does not have the initiative with the war turn. Now, Mike does have two damage relics, which are going to be extremely powerful for the Whirlwinds. Uh, they're going to be doing a lot of damage to this infantry. And Whirlwinds have two weapon cycles. Now, I'll kind of explain uh, both of them. Um, the fiery one basically ignores like pinning and like range, but it does less armor penetration, I believe. Uh, so usually what you got to do is cycle through them really quick, which is tapping the A button is the hotkey for it. And just see how much uh, each one does. That's probably the easiest way to figure it out. That's what I do. I think incendiary is probably better in this case. Yeah. It's kind of like frags and cracks on heavy weapon teams. Fun fact, Whirlwinds are one of my favorite units on Space Marines roster. I just like because, I, I just like pinning people. Yeah, I knew it. I knew and and it ignoring and, and stopping the Overwatch. Like my favorite combo is to use scan, and then all those heavy destroyers or or catafrons, I just ignore uh, take the Overwatch off, and now they're pinned. So never gets old. Or you can even use a scout bike too. Oh, okay. So we're continuing to see Dreadnoughts being pumped by Mike, even though Mike fully sees that it's an infantry build. Uh, I guess he's worried about that ninja tank commander coming out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we got a we got a negative twenty percent ener energy shortage going on, but it's been corrected for next turn. Uh, but he was. Falana was caught with his pants down there. Suffered a 20% energy bottleneck there. Which is reducing his effectiveness of his empire. Yeah, I really, really don't like that third city location for a guard. I just don't see why you well, would build it there. And like I said, kind of very early in the game. Like, look at that food. It's minus seven now. Pretty, You have all these production buildings, right? What good are they going to be? If your uh, food is in the negative, you know, um, yeah. it's like buying also, the Elon Musk cyber truck and not having a way to, to charge the truck or put gas in it. It's it? also producing <laughs> units in the corner of the map, which is not something great. Right. It's going to be a long way to get it to the front lines. Yeah, I get your point. Um, okay, so we are officially in the war turn. Mike has an, or sorry, Falana has an initiative. Does he want to push it? Uh, he is, does not have a wing commissar. Does he have the influence for a wing? Not yet. Um, so that's risky to, um, if he's going to push. Yeah, it's definitely going to die to all the predators and everything. So I guess he's going to just hold that position, I assume. But this is where Mike can punish him with whirlwinds. Now, I, he has a scout bike. I don't know if he has the scan ability with Space Marine. And um, I think Star will have a talk with him about dreadnoughts aren't good versus infantry. Why are you building dreadnoughts? <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a topic for Star to discuss with Mike. 
But the Dreadnoughts are continuing continue to be pumped out. Second Dreadnought coming out. Um, here we go. Here's going to be a scan and whirlwinds. Here's some tasty infantry for you. Now, his infantry do have the medic pack. So, he could kind of just sustain himself just by using those. The thing is, if he pins the infantry in front, the infantry in the back can't really charge out to do much about it. Yeah. It's true. Well, he waits until he All right, gets... is he going to... He has to double down with the Whirlwind to get the, the more damage in the pin effect. All right, so okay. he is putting... All right, he's pinning some of the infantry, pinning the Scions. So they lose movement. They lose range accuracy. But they do get a buff in range damage reduction. But the Whirlwinds could go into incinder, Incinerary and ignore... The, that damage reduction as well. So we got a pin here. All right, so four pin infantry. Mm, should have pulled that back. Yeah. It's more valuable for that scan ability, not to just lose it like this. Yeah, just drink turbo boost then back into the outpost. All right. Oh. Going for the engineer, or going for the commissar um, with one tank. Okay. So a lot of disrespect here. All these predator tanks just kind of all up in his business. Um, he's got two heavy teams coming, but not in position. Oh no! Like, but we only have a bring it down level two, so which is kind of unfortunate since he did literally build his hero building quite early in the game. But it is a tiny map, I guess. But the fact that he didn't go early barracks or armory means he doesn't have an effective squad to level up his commissar fast, I guess. All right, so we go to. Falana's turn. More heavy teams coming out. We're almost into zero food. But he has a few more queued up in the barracks. Pinning doesn't really do much if you move into one range of the units you pin. Yeah, I mean, they get us a 17% range accuracy debuff. But yeah, I mean... And if they're using grenades, grenades are considered. No. Those are ranged. Range, yeah, range. how uh, Melted Bomb is melee. Yeah, that was melee. Alright, so I guess those scout bikes are going to be easily taken out. The funny part is that I was completely wrong in the early game. I thought he was going for like his Psyker rush kind of thing. And I totally got bamboozled. I'm like, oh, he's building barracks in each base. I'm like, I've never seen that before. Okay, another barracks. What's the point of Psyker rushing if you don't have units to? make use of the psychers yeah it's kind of like why do we always get involved with uh wars in the middle east I know. <laughs> what do we get what do we out? gain from it except except people would you losing charge their out life? here as darth i would charge out but I um but at level two bring it down is not very powerful it's it's the level two and three is is definitely more respectable. Level one is is very small. So I don't I don't even think I mean 
he might be able to ki kill a predator. I would go for this one that's damaged on the flank part. Uh, mm -hmm. We're seeing a Bastion go down. Battle pause. And Etrusco is going to go into his pod and discuss the situation. Yeah, I think Mike's going to be missing a battle pause coach really badly. Yes, this is where Star could have really helped them. Um, I'm going to listen in to their discussion. So. All right, so I'm muted. They can't hear me. I'm just interested to yes. hear. What's up, my guy? All right, so we have, uh, we have some problems over here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have uh, enough freaking rocket launcher, guys. That's for sure. Yeah, you also you made Bolgrim tag, but you didn't research Bolgrims. You got too many barracks, but not a single farm. You're playing infantry, but you don't have void shields. Oh, yeah, void shields. Yeah, good point. You use the 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 bringing down of the commissar, but there, there's no point because you don't have like uh, any any kills. You need to put the commissar back. Yeah, he's yeah. I, I definitely have to pull this guy back. Yeah, I'll probably heal him. Too. Remember what I told you about the forest. You don't want to fight in the outside of the forest. You want them to enter the forest, right? Now, sadly, the the whirlwinds they can't ignore. The, they don't need line of sight. Oh yeah, because they got bombardment, right? Yeah, I know these operators can hit you for free. All right, right. Now your economy is gonna collapse, so you just try to queue up like infantry. Yeah, I definitely just... messed up the bear uh the food uh economy for sure. Let's see here. No 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 queue up. No don't 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 cancel. Queue up you like extra units, units because you're gonna go into the Oh because you're saying it's gonna crash so I'll, so I wanna get the queue rocking. Yeah, I feel like yeah. a bowling would have been good. Ah, no. This is coach is giving him some uh, pointers here. Looking pretty grim. Not the best scene here from your coach. You're, you know, you messed up on the economy. You can't really kill him this round. A threat to your cities, but uh, but not to my army, right? You don't want to get your army sniped. Though. He doesn't have a wing, which is also a problem. Yeah. Trying to think here. Hold on. I'm gonna need. Oh yeah, you said the void shields. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be good. Uh, no, no, but don't don't cancel the farm. Don't cancel the farm. No, no, don't 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 don't, don't stop canceling stuff. Stop canceling stuff. Well, it's only three turns. Uh, but you're going minus ten. Uh, keep the void shield then. It's yeah, the void shield. But that is that is critical tech for extra infantry. It's a shame. Though. You didn't grab it, you, you grabbed the, the cyclers. And try to slowly but surely fall back into the, the cities. How many tech trees do you have this one? That yeah, tech trees like is like extraordinarily valuable. It's the most valuable unit in your army at the moment. Okay. So hold on, uh, now my energy is pretty bad. It's gonna get better so I, I can make another one later, I guess, yeah. Yes, I got it. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go. The fuck are and, you? And that is that is it for, for my intervention, I guess. Yeah. Thanks, cool. man. Appreciate it. Uh good luck, man. What's up? Paul Paul the Gates. Good luck, Falana. Yeah, man. All right, so there you have it. That was an official battle pause. Um, some wise words from Atrisco, but a lot of it was kind of, <laughs> why, did you, why did you do this? Your car is crashing. This is going bad. Um, so this is going to test Falana. He really, he's in a bad position, um, but there's always hope in Gladius. Maybe Mike does a very bad play tactically maybe positions one of his vehicles in a really bad uh, bad spot. Maybe Falana can capitalize on it, but the problem 
Is the whirlwinds shut down infantry builds quite good? Um, so that's the thing I, I just, um, he, you know, we talk about counter units and how sometimes in Gladius you have the rock, paper, scissors mechanic. Right now, Mike has done rock, paper, scissors with Flana and he picked the correct rock and Flana picked scissors. And, uh, Mike just needs to capitalize on it. So will Mike hit the three pointer shot here or the, or the layup, uh, going for a bastion with the Preds. Okay. And that thing is just melting, like, because predators get it. Okay. So that was what I was talking about. So Mike can range three of this, but he keeps going in like range two with his tanks. But um, but now you got a heavy team that has a beat on it. Um, but it looks like he will. Mm, no, I, th I think the Bastion is going to live. So this could be a good opportunity for Falana to try to um maybe do a counterattack uh if he can kill this one tank here that should yellow line the army and then maybe kill another one you have a, another injured predator tank right here and then they're red lined perhaps losing two predator tanks uh it's sad he used to bring it down and um so we can't uh take advantage of a, a, a bring it down here um yeah it's not winged his hero's got to be a little careful. It could get pinned also by the whirlwinds. But I feel like um, definitely a couple misplays by Mike here. Um, is Flana going to capitalize on this? Does he see what I'm seeing? Um, does he go maybe go f kill this one first and then focus on this one maybe? Let's see what he does. He's going to the trader. Um, he's almost has enough for a wing. Next turn, he'll have enough for a wing. And that's pretty big. That's definitely big. All right. So he should try to kill this one first. If he's, if he really wants to do the, um, the domino effect, he wants to kill the first unit that he's focusing on. So he does have a nice scion here. He has a scion here. And he has also a grenade thing here. Uh, no overwatches. So he doesn't have to worry about overwatch. So I think if you use these two scions plus the grenade from the guardsman, that would knock out this guy. Oh, I think he had actually. I think he had the kill shot with um. Okay, don't. What? Okay, I. Is he out of time? Uh, no, he's not. Why is he? He has a sign on here that could have just killed it. Um, but then he ranged two to from here when he should be. He should kill this one first and then focus on this one. But might be nervous. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moment. These are. All right. He, had the, he has grenades. He should have just focused on the Marines. If if you can't kill this tank, you might as well kill models. All right. Use the grenades. He uses frags. Okay. You got heavy teams that are in the forest here. Okay. And Trisco did oh. mention he wanted him to play um, be in the thick of the ruins in the forest, meaning not on the outside, but um i think he might want to be a little aggressive here the only thing the um, the whirlwinds should probably target the heavy teams but they don't have it yeah ah uh, see if you if he would have went in with this guy he then could have had a full squad at range one to hit this yeah he had the double kill there but Oh, and he had a heavy team here that could hit this. So yeah, he definitely, he had the damage, yeah. 
All right, time's gonna run out. Heavy weapons forward. They're not able to hit anything from there. They're well, if Mike pushes here, that is a heavy team that gets a beat on him, but. Mm. Yeah. But there's um, two of them still. Now we're behind. seeing some Vindicators come out, four armories, and he has economy to maintain it. We did hear Trisco say, you know, you're going to go on life support economy here. Um, pretty much these are the last troops he's going to be able to produce. And, um, but there's still a chance. Like, if he defeats this army, Mike might be like, oh, I lost the game and mentally just GG out. But in reality, Falana's on life support as far as the economy goes or production. Um, so we saw some whirlwind pinning. Pin some of the frontline troops, it looks like, on out here. Uh, Can you check if Space Marine has a tower to drop? Uh, no, it doesn't give me that information. Uh, I don't. I don't have that information. Yeah. I thought I don't. No, Mike has Mike has two damage relics. I mean, this is something you don't see every game, except if you're Descry gaming. That does happen to me frequently. Then you have three. You don't have two. Because, <laughs> you know, two's not enough. I have to have my 30% more damage. <laughs> I don't think he's using the incendiaries at all. Yeah, the, these have been these been on... Yeah, he has not been cycling no. the weapons at all. They've been stuck on... The first... Vengeance missile. That's probably yeah. why he's not doing that much damage with the whirlwinds. That dreadnought is in range of the heavy weapon beam. I don't know why he would. Like... I mean, this is the training wheels tournament. This is not. This is not the high caliber ottoman. Sweat fest tournament that we yeah. that we saw the other he got, got hit once by them and then he moved into range again. I guess he wants it to hit the. I get it. All right, so we do got the wing for the commissar. The commissar is on, I would say, sixty percent health here. Got to be Bring a little. It has to bring it down, yeah. Again, still level one, but better than nothing, I guess. Turn 41, <laughs> level two Commissar. And the Commissar came out turn 20 something. Yeah, but he had no units to creep, so it's not right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The real question is, like, even if he destroys this army, you've got a steady production line of vindicators which is going to go to a five armory next turn so i mean even on paper i just i don't because i know um uh, Falana's gas tank is completely out of gas N next turn that is it for infantry he's got a bulgren plus another heavy team and that is it for the for probably the next 20 turns so So he killed a predator, he killed a scout bike, and he's in a space marine. Yeah. No, let's give it. Oh, he's grabbing the energy there. Yeah. He had energy problems. Um, he's plus six. Maybe he wants Hopefully to get that Mike. shield generator down. Mike's gonna have energy problems. He doesn't build energy next. We did talk about how, you know, Mike is kind of at a disadvantage. He doesn't have Star uh, giving him advice because Star has to go to bed. <laughs> it's, it's past Star's bedtime, so. And I've killed a space marine there. All right, so. 
Mike's on the attack. Dreadnought slams into a guardsman and takes two models. Guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, this is the training wheels tournament. You're not gonna see the most optimal use of different. I mean, units. I'm already. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm seeing a mic on fucking Space Marines. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm already <doing> <laughs> Ooh, so, some 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 uh, range two whirlwind action here. We saw we saw a lot of range two predators and range two whirlwinds this game. Yeah, Mike he was using the incendiary. He also had vision of the heavy weapon team and could have shot the heavy weapon team. Ooh, the heavy t weapon team is gonna say hello. Yeah, it's and that that's a bring it down level oh, one. Oh. oh my god, that's a dead unit. Well, I mean, don't. <laughs> it's, it's a level bad. one bring it down it's oh and it's city overwatch we are uh -oh. oh all for one sign okay here we go falana gg out he killed your sign surrender <laughs> okay oh, wow well. combat Damn. tower dropped that's actually a good I... tower isn't it it blocks the shit out of everything well, it's going to be shot by all the heavy weapon teams in the forest. <laughs> yeah. oh, it yeah, is shielded though. Yeah. It is shielded. It's gonna. Yeah. It's it gonna take a. Though. It's gonna take a while. But yeah, it if will. Alana it will. Aims it. If I still, it's good. But yeah. again, the tower's not really doing damage per se to infantry. I mean, like. Oh, Bulgarin's out. And well, uh, check out his food economy. M minus thirteen, zero food oh, and. He's Wait. He's got two barracks in that base, two barracks in that base, and three barracks okay. in this base. And uh, no, barracks. oh, oh, we are seeing he's pumping that edict, but guess what? He has no food left. <laughs> Wait, but doesn't that mean that from every turn the infantry will be? Oh, he's not shooting. Oh, does not that mean he that moved? From... His oh, he moved team. the one that yeah that could shoot it. You want to... You wanted the perfect, bring it down. Yeah, the oh, perfect. not worth yeah, it. Man. Not worth it, my friend. Is it missing too much accuracy now? Uh, yeah. He needs oh to get God. in the blue. If he gets this heavy team in the blue, he one shots the Razorback. He can't. Well, he can just shoot with the city. And actually, the city can shoot the Dreadnought as Wait, well. does the Commissar has the kill the model? No, no he doesn't. I don't know why nobody takes it. Like, I, don't, I think it, I usually like, get I usually get it on my second commissar, and then if my first commissar gets to like godly level, I'll, obviously I, I it's it's going to be taken. But that's usually what I do. I, I I I make my second commissar the executioner. You know, like the the other one that does all the the bad things. You know, the hard talks. Yeah, he's, he's You're gonna, gonna die today, power. Jimmy. I'm sorry. Poof. Okay, so he d does shoot that. Um, he now can shoot the dread with that blue bring it down heavy team. That's... No, he's focusing the tower. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Flanet. Flanet. No, no. Flanet. Get the units. Forget, forget about the tower. It's a distraction. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, there you okay. go, Flana. Okay, go for the dread. Go for the dread. He cannot kill the dread. It doesn't look like it. He cannot. Tower is zoning him, but he could have moved this guy here. But I guess it'd be out of cover. But if you if Mike was using the whirlwinds properly, he could go to incendiary, and that avoids um, range reduction. So he'd be doing a yeah. lot more damage to the infantry, but he has. Failed to see that in the game. He's kept it on the the normal cycle. Have they used the have they used the battle pause already? Uh basically, yeah, because Star oh, Star went to bed, so Mike doesn't uh, get a battle pause. Oh my god, that's the second time Star goes to bed before being useful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Star, I don't know Star gave I... him good advice though. He said like go. No, 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 I'm just saying that like the battle pause. Is very important. Like he can literally get in and say, "Use the fucking instant," and they'll yeah, be enough. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. so you unmuted me. The battery. I, 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 I put you. You're back into the population. I had Hopefully. you in the bad boys corner for a little bit. Yeah, I will not get my Christmas gift, I guess. You need to behave yourself. I'm behaving. You, you've been a naughty boy. No. I mean, for you, not What enough, did you do, Canalia? Oh, I pissed that <laughs> That, right that laundry list is very long, but. Yeah. Let's say hey, you, may, the... you make you make you make Kazar look like a choir boy. Oh yeah. No, no, he is not. But he Kazar flames for him. everything, like literally everything. Just pick pick whatever topic he will flame about it. And when, when is Kazar is coming way? back? Wait, where is Kazar, by the way? He said, the last message I got was something like he had to do a lot of work related stuff. Mm. But that was like so that was a blame. month ago. Oh. I mean, people work, you know, Descroy? Yeah. I can't say I but... miss him a lot. Yeah, I know. Are we getting a retreat? No, How he that... repositioning. No, he decided to use range free, which is fine, I guess. I love how, like, uh, he scouted that he's going to infantry and he kept building the dreadnoughts. He needs I to mean, grab that I think... energy outpost. I'm... I think 100% Mike wins that. I mean, on paper, Mike, sh no. this should be an easy I mean, win. Like, this should be one vindicator in will just annihilate everything there. Oh, he he needs cool. two to get the bonus of yeah, but you have another range one, like, damage the one reduction outside, I mean. bypass. The one that, that pops out right now. I mean, I mean the bulgrain would the bulgrain gets destroyed when it has models on it from the vindicator. Uh, without the shield, the bulgrains are shit. I'm just gonna say yeah. that straight up. They're definitely what, not. Your... I do not even use Bulgrins until I get the freaking shield. I keep them like in the back line, like, like working for the city, doing nothing. And when they get the <laughs> shield, I send them. I send them to do their job. I'm pretty sure they can solo a Chaos Terminator with the shield. Yeah, I. Uh, I mean, I had a game where I faced off against like a whole bunch of. Chaos Terminators, and they were holding the line, bro. Yeah, because Chaos Terminators aren't that good. <laughs> Tell that to sure. Ottoman. Ottoman swears that they're good. I don't know. Ottoman. No, they're, they're, oh. <laughs> the fish got very strong melter bomb. They cost far too much for what they do. Very expensive melter bomb. <laughs> How does the inefficiency, like when you're in deficit of, for example, food, and that's your upkeep for the units, how does it work? Well, do they decrease, like, in damage? No. Or... no. You just can't build They're them, that's it? slower, and that's it, yeah. All right, so oh turn 43, God. this is where we're seeing the endurance side. Can players maintain the flow of the game going beyond the physical capabilities of Gladius players? I mean, turn 43, this is where... Is your economy tanking? What's it doing? So right now it's tanking for Falana, whereas Mike is actually doing okay, except for power. Energy, though. energy. The energy building is kind of creeping in there, but that won't be enough. I don't think he's minus eight. You'll have to he just switch off. switch off a couple buildings, it looks like. But, um, but will he switch off? I don't think he is. <laughs> I don't think. You know what? I think for, look, what's the third city building? That Commissar is leveling, leveling up. Watch out. It's gonna pop off. Will Falana forget to use the wing at the end of his turn? Stay tuned. He already forgot once, so I say yes. Oh, wait, he didn't heal the signs? Why? He, he used. He just the move them away then. Or he could have healed the level three one. Yeah. Or just move away. Put another one there. There are so many heavy weapon squads that do nothing. Well, what he could do, he could do something cheeky. Bring that tech priest engineer, clear the forest, then the heavy team can the shoot generator. through it. Just, wait, he can put the shield generator, right? I think he has the... Yeah, he has the tech for it. He does not have the power, How though. How much energy? It's plus four. So, three turns, basically. He's building another engineer. Wait, he can just cancel the engineer and put the shield. He could, In yeah. the middle of the tech. Very calm down, man. Like, go. Oh. I'm warring for Phil. I'm just. Did you actually like, put money down on Falana? 
I might. People have are done actually that. betting on this. I might have yes, done that. Yes, there's there's some real life betting going on. Some serious no, money. I, I played I played one v ones with Philana recently, and I want him to win. Oh man, I think these games are harder to cast because there's so many misplays that I feel like I spend. <laughs> 90% of my commentary just calling out all the misplays. Cool, really That's no problem. You need to enjoy the game. It's hard for me to enjoy when I keep seeing mistakes like, every look, second. Look, click, for example, I'll show you how to do that. Click on any building of uh, any player. What do you mean? Okay, Philana is doing good. His ore is actually in the plus as well as the energy. Feels okay now? Not when your food he's is the, zero. He's the right side. He's right side. Yeah, Look okay, fine, side. fine. Oh. He's in the bright side there, but what, <laughs> you can't produce anything from these production buildings. And and he's in the positive power because he, he haven't dispensed. Yes, yes. But he, he hasn't has switched has minus to the production loyalty, building guys. yet. He only has minus 14 loyalty. That's also good, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I don't care about minus 14. Oh, no. Today. He forgot to wing it. He forgot to wing the commissar. Wait, is he going to die? He is going to die. It is going to die. No, wait. It is gonna die! No! Oh, no. oh my god! That's GG. That's, That's, That's GG now for sure. Is Flana gonna no. call the GG? No! That is no Heartbreaking way. series events right here in the Training Wheels tournament. I'm sure the coach Wait, did not practice the wing with the player. <laughs> Wait, didn't he just kill? Isn't he killing like two dreadnoughts with her weapon spot? No, oh, he can't get the the morale. Yes. Back no, the well, the morale oh. is bad. So even they even yeah, it's not doing a ton yeah, of but damage. They move. They move this turn. They move this turn. So they will do six damage. Not not unless he suppresses them all. Okay, a lot of pins happening. Wait, suppresses decreases damage. Yes, yeah, like the the boss. All right, so oh, we got uh, a huge misplay. Um, I mean, which is even a, without it, the commissar is, is a very big oh, player in this neutrals. matchup. The neutrals, the so neutrals want a piece of Falana too to put salt in his wound. All right, so what are we doing here, Falana? How are you gonna w come back from this? <laughs> escape, escape, surrender, <laughs> could, escape, surrender, control, <laughs> alt, delete, control, delete. Like at this point. Yeah, Alt F4. Yeah, Alt F4. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Filana now. Hello? Well, it was um, a surprise because I don't... Wait, he could have shot it! Why did he, he shot it? it? Yeah, oh he didn't I don't... Um, I, I'm not well... Oh. I've not seen Filana play guard that often, so I was kind of shocked that he picked guard. But okay, knowing but that, yeah, my, knowing yeah, that yeah. Mike likes to play Necron, it made sense why he picked guard. I played I played three games one v ones recently like today with him him he he was playing for two days only Astra trying okay. to you know so this was something that he I guess was preparing in the tournament yeah yeah something but he but, didn't win the commissar and he lost it too so I mean he has negative twenty foot at this point it's, he it's has not what? doable yeah he's like yeah. if you're going infantry you should always watch your food because your population growth also affects food and like. The problem is, you, like, you, if you go in three, you, you have to console, you have to console, like, have one city dedicated to food, like, you just build food on something. But that's oh. literally almost like every other race. You just have one, like at least one dedicated city to reproduction. No, I mean the guys. Can I mention one thing? I think if you go for infantry, extra militarum, you have to be ready for loose. <laughs> I don't think no, there's it depends. I don't think they're bad, to be honest. Very bad. Like, Infantry Astra is early game. Like it's Infantry Astra early, early game is fucking insane, I don't know. Uh, I would say Infantry Astra does depend on skill level, because there's yeah, things yeah. that you have to do to make them be effective, such as use a Commissar effectively. You need to double buff And the knowing the how to move your heavy teams, like we saw this game, a lot of bad heavy team positioning or moving a heavy team then shooting like these are kind yeah. of fundamental stuffs that 
you know obviously if you want to do really well with the infantry build you got to do those things well uh but yeah, thing but mike likewise is also not doing things super well either he's not changing his cycle weapon on his whirlwind um he was producing lots of dreadnoughts and they're not good versus infantry but he is now doing vindicator so i give him props for that it's like uh it's over he is in the 10 percent negative uh will he see that he needs to get positive power he might be blinded by the the bloodbath that's, that's happening that's right now so he might not be paying attention to his empire i'm going in with the dreadnought two models down or no was that one model or two model uh, i think it was two models there. okay it's I just find it really fun that Dreadnought deals like kills two models of uh, 15 cost units. It's because of accuracy. I mean, it's over. Yeah, it, it's like, just picture that two guardsmen or two heavy team people, they just get demolished by that Dreadnought, you know, like ripped apart. It's more like a psychological Wait, what's, what's, attack. What's, what's the weapon? What's the weapon on the Dreadnought? Uh, you got Power Storm fish. Bolter. Power Fist and Multi... Oh, there is no Melta. way when he attacks he kills only two models like in real life. He will just... Look at this machine gun. I mean, I think the tabletop reflects a lot of the attack values of, of this game. Yeah, though. I think... Yeah, yeah. I mean, you yeah, but the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, it's fixed and tabletop if you roll the dice. So. Oh, in, in tabletop it's not... It's... Uh, RNG? Yeah. Well, Why it's RNG, nice but the like, there's. I mean, you have values, but. Yeah, there's values and like bonuses based on certain things. <laughs> I played Baldur and Gid, and that's enough RNG for me. Did you try to sleep with everyone? Uh, I mean, I'm not doing that in real life. I'm not gonna do that in the game, too. Because I'm playing my character, um, you know? My character in, in the game... In Gladys, like... you want to fuck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with Vindicators in the Nostra? Is, um, is Veronica the the, dro the Dark Elf? Is she in the, the new Baldur's Gate? I know, I know. I know Minx is in Baldur's Gate. The, the, the new like, new one, the yeah. guy with the hamster, what? Minx, the barbarian, and he has the the space hamster that he talks about. Boo! Oh wait, the you mean this? Um, uh, he was in the original Baldur's Gate. He was like the uh, he was like the best character. No, I don't think it's completely different characters oh. as far as I know. Like it's a different story and shit. And then like I like I like the um, Edwin, the mage. Like he's like this kind of schemey, like mm -hmm. power hungry mage, and that guy was kind of like funny. The, I do like the bloodsucker. He's always he he's like his conversations are always fun. Like the, why the fuck are you crushing a temple on my head? <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> I don't know, I like him. Like, but honestly, how everywhere. do you deal with Vindicators as an Aspera? You can There's put no a way. shield, right? You can put a shield gen well, that should reduce the damage. No, it's syringe and bull now. It's range, right? Yeah, it's range and bull. Yeah, so, so you can put a shield gen. Like, doesn't help. It gives like a how much does it do? Can you can you hover over Vindicator no, hitting something that's not, not dead? No, it's the their special ability that... Uh, Ignores range reduction, so. Oh, if they're close to each other. Yeah, if they're. Yeah. Oh yeah, then the shield generator doesn't work. All right, looks like Mike is breaking through the defenses. He's getting close to the base. Yeah, but then as an infantry, what do you do with vindicators? You lose. It's a counter unit. We're seeing multiple farms being trying to spread up and grow to late. feed the army but yeah it's a little too late come on let's build those farms we got hungry troops like his, his biggest 
problem, I think, is that he has too many barracks and not enough food production. Like, if he changes yeah, we, barracks... Yeah, we made that comment a long time ago in the game. Oh, yeah. Good, good morning. Good morning, Canary. How are you? I wasn't here. Fuck off. Just no, go back, like, what? Really an hour ago when I'm like, the dude's making way too much barracks. <laughs> no farms. It'd be like some, a guy making a whole bunch of armories with no, no ore fields. Like... <laughs> You're gonna run out of gas, my boy. Okay. Whirlwinds. Oh, he, he changed it to incinerary. He found. Oh. He found the thing. He found the button. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mike had a <laughs> epiphany. He's growing, right? He's on learning. Line. He's like an AI. He's, he's like a supercomputer. No, he's, he's like a unit. He's adopting. He's the freaking... issue is you'll, you'll forget by tomorrow. Artificial intelligence time. implanted into Mike's CPU <laughs> brain. My, my... <laughs> you know ChatGPT is like Mike AI. <laughs> Gosh, when did Mike become a cyborg? How does he know? Good game, like, Mike. Good luck you. in the tournament. Okay, Falana concedes, and yeah, that Falana is going to wrap good. it up. Mike, back-to-back -back wins in the... First round and round two, he's headed to the semis. This is nice. Good job, man. And Star's gonna wake up and hear that he did a good job coaching. Honestly, this is just Star's. Uh, just the start was perfect for the just produce armory spam. So you're very excited. I can see you're very thrilled. Um, did the game go how you predicted? Mike, or did you have to make adjustments here and there? I had to make adjustments like throughout the game. The moment I saw like he had like grenades, I was going. He was knowing he was going infantry. A bit more whirlwinds than usual. Yeah, but they were doing a very effective job of um, countering his infantry. Yeah. Yeah, like I was trying to use them to just blunt his. Uh, trying to, I know like the commissar's ability is very powerful. So I was trying to use the uh, whirlwinds to just blunt that, just to stop them from moving. Right, right. Well, you guys and... played very well. Falana, uh, I saw you, you sort of had a game plan. It looked like it was coming together and then um, kind of hit a roadblock there. Yeah, honestly, man, um, I should have just muted Sin as soon as he came into the channel because he like came in talking and I thought, um, I was like, whatever. Um, and it actually kind of, it actually, I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't I know actually kind of messed the economy game. up. Instead of producing uh, farms, I started producing like too many barracks. And uh, as you saw, my food economy crashed. I wasn't able to keep the, the, the infantry coming, unfortunately. Uh, I also had a bit of an energy issue I should have uh, addressed earlier that I didn't notice. So that kind of definitely cost me there, but uh, but it was still a fun battle. I uh, you know I I gotta get better with using the wing on the Kami because uh, like towards the end there when I realized that I forgot to bring him back with the wing there. Yeah. And during yeah. that turn, uh, it was pretty much him just getting sniped with the uh, with the Preds and uh, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what that what was kind of like the beginning of the end there as far as my force goes because without him. And bring it down uh they just can't really do enough damage um i also think i i like i could have positioned them like my guys better have more of a concave because a lot of like some of my rocket launchers were like in the back of the forest where they couldn't really get good like, good line of sight but but having that mm -hmm. cliff but having that cliff in between my first and second base was that very hurt. annoying because they couldn't yeah. get troops across so that was that was challenging, man. That that terrain kind of made it challenging to kind of mm -hmm. you know logistically hey. shift my guys around. But uh, but yeah, that, I have to fun. tell you about that. The, the tech priest there, he was your like your MVP. He could have cleared the tiles to give you two shot potential on the whirlwinds on the dreadnought. Well, not dreadnought, like the or just put the yeah, shield the generator. Dreadnought. He had to put the shield. The problem is he didn't have the the tech until later on to well, like the, the tech priest. Yeah. And I the tech priest was your your like critical. He he was the the guy that could uh, like turn around the the fight just by clearing. Time I will say though, fight. like it it's tough. Yeah. Like when you're a player and it's like an official tournament setting, the, oh, yeah. there's there's yeah. a lot going yeah. on. Like I mean, sometimes you in a casual game, you're not as uh, you know the pressure That's isn't right. getting to you. But like I mean, you gotta remember, Falana, you know, was tr trying something. 
And, you know, sometimes that does happen where like, you know, there's pressure, there's things going and you're like, oh, why didn't I, I do that? But all in all, I think both players played really good. It was interesting to see your guys' perspectives of what you guys were trying to do. I know Star mentioned something about he wanted to, to you to rush um, Falana. Did something happen? Like, it, was that still part of your plan or did you kind of, uh, did the time schedule get kind of messed up with that? Honestly, I was going to call Sim off the moment Felina's called Sim off, so... Okay, yeah, like, at that point, I was yeah. confident I should be able to at least hold. Because, yeah, he was there pretty much anyway, so I, I, I think it was, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be called. <laughs> it would have been great, because with the food situation, losing early units to trade would have been ideal. I to keep, like, making more units. I think, though... I see what you mean. I think... Mm -hmm. This was a classic game of rock, paper, scissor matchup because whirlwinds sort of dominate um, infantry builds, most infantry builds, not all of them, but most of them. And um, right. I think it, it would be very hard for you to, uh, you know, kind of defeat that army. Uh, not, not that it's impossible, right. but definitely difficult. Oh, for yeah. sure. For sure. I, I would definitely have an uphill battle with that kind of a force. Because uh, um, with the with the tech priest with the ability to clear tiles, you can keep the heavy weapons like well, yeah, safe th that's because a, of the forest. And then you clear the tile, yeah. and you like the have the full damage on them for the combat. It's, it's a cheeky, combat. it's a cheeky trick yeah. that can but work. It's, it's, but it's, it's one of those things like, yeah, but, okay, I see what yeah. you can do. You're not gonna fool me again with that, right? So yeah, but what are you gonna do with vindicators anyway? Well, yeah, the Vindicators. Vindicators nope, nope. and Whirlwinds. He had the opportunity to kill the Vindicator, for example. Like, with oh, the, really? all the heavy weapons, when they didn't move, and they they put it to half health, he could have killed them if he didn't move them, and then he could have put the Dreadnought at half morale, and then he had the another, a third heavy weapon squad guy, and a full health... Uh, What's his name? The tier four, the Tempestus Scion. So he could have yeah. put he could have put the entire enemy army at red morale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 you said you said to reduce the dreadnought to half health. When you reduce vehicles' health, does, does that demorale them? I thought you have to outright kill them. It's only with infantry. No, no, no. Like when the when the when the tank vehicle, the vindicator, came in, your heavy weapon squad put it at half health. So oh, that allow you to just finish it off because you have your guys right. didn't move, right? It was your right. turn, so you didn't move. But once that you move them, they lose half damage. So you had to use additional two troops to finish off the... You didn't go for the Vindicator. I think you went for the 